following God. When you follow God, sometimes things get tough, they get tight. But if you keep pushing just on the other side of when you think it's the darkest, something miraculous will happen that will change your life. Something will open up that will blow your mind. What I want you to understand is that I don't care how many people love you and encourage you or the ones that try to tear you down or destroy you. When God has a dream for you, it is your dream, your dream. And there are people who love you who would think that they're saying the right things to you to try to protect you. Or there are people that have been, been, that have been in your lives and watched you grow up and they don't know what God has put down inside of you because they think they're too familiar with you. But what you have to understand is when God has something for you, you have to go for it fully, fully. Sometimes when you're not hearing from God, God is trying to see what you're gonna do in the situation that you're in. Let me tell you something, forgiveness is so incredibly powerful. Forgiveness is not for the other person, it is for you. This shocked a few people, they said, let's talk about your failures. I said, I don't have any. And I tell you why, I tell you why I say that. I tell you why I say that. Because when you know that everything in your life is gonna to work together for your good, I look, I look back on all the things in my life that I thought that should have been a failure, that should have been a failure, that should have been. But when I really analyzed it, I realized those were teaching moments, those were molding moments, those were moving moments. And I realized, had that not happened, I wouldn't have been ready for this moment. Or had that situation not gone on, I wouldn't have been ready to go here. Had I not been able to live at that altitude, I wouldn't have been able to stand at this altitude. So what happened to me, as I look back on all those moments, I, could, I don't call them failures. I call them the grace of God because it had brought me right where I needed to be. Don't give up. Don't, it, I know this sounds simple, but don't give up. If you go to bed with it and you wake up with it and you can't shake it, you go get a job and that dream is still in the back of your head, you, you're working for somebody else but that dream is still in the back of your head, you're getting up every morning, five in the morning, going on somebody else's job. Let me tell you something, honor that person that you're working for. Listen, listen, because when, you when, you, when you're faithful over someone else's, God will give you your own. So make sure you honor the person that you're working for. I thought about this moment I want to share with you really quickly. I was, um, maybe about 18 years ago, I bought this house and, and I kept getting these insane water bills. The water bills were just insane. Like, why are these water bills so crazy? I'm a single man living in this house. Anyway, my neighbor told me I needed to dig a well. So I call this guy over to come, an engineer, he comes out and we're walking the yard and he's putting out all of these orange flags as to all these places he thinks that we could find water. As he's digging one, I said, okay, go ahead. So as he starts digging this one well, didn't hit anything. And I was like, wait a minute, you just dug this deep and I still have to pay you even though you didn't hit water? He's like, that's how it goes. I'm like, okay, fine. So then he goes on to the next one, little flag he's digging, never hits water. He goes to the next one never hits water and I keep having to pay these bills and I got so frustrated, I said, never mind, I'll just keep paying the water bill because I'm not gonna do this. A few months pass, I still get these crazy water bills, so what I decided to do was call him back. So he comes back out, I said, you dig right here, this well, and you dig and you don't stop until you hit water. So he starts digging. He gets down to about 800 feet, he said, we haven't hit water, this is pretty deep. I said, you keep going. Gets down a little deeper, still has not hit water. I was like, you keep going, you keep going. He said, okay, we're gonna take the night off, we're over a thousand feet deep, we'll be back in the morning. That night I thought about it, I said, you know what, I'm just wasting money, I'm not gonna do it. As soon as he gets in the morning, I'm gonna tell him to stop digging. That morning he comes out, he starts the machine, I'm on my way down to him, the machine starts. He was four inches away from the water that I needed. Why am I telling you all this? Why am I talking about digging for water? In this world, we're all digging wells. In our lives, we're digging wells. We're digging wells in relationships where we put all this time and effort and energy and sometimes it doesn't give us what we need. We put all our time and effort and energy in our dreams and our business and it doesn't give us what we need or what we were after. But if you just keep digging, my God, if you could just hear me right now, just keep digging. You may be four inches away from every gift and every blessing that you've ever wanted in your life. You are worthy of getting to your goal. Keep digging, don't stop. And let me tell you something, like I tell everyone here, when, listen to me, when you get there, when you get to that water and you see it's coming and you know you have what you need, this is what I want you to always remember. Make sure that everybody you run into meets you at your worth. Walking by faith can be very uncomfortable. And 
And if when you're walking by faith and you're asking by faith, sometimes you don't have the whole picture. You wow. just have this little bit of light and you just have to keep moving forward. It is so important that you, you encourage yourself because in this day and time, in this day of social media, in this day where you are bombarded with yeah. negativity yeah. constantly, every minute, every second, no matter, you don't even have to look for it. It is, it defines you right. and you carry it on your person. Sometimes it's in a pocket close to your heart. Yeah. The, you pull your phone out and there it is close to your heart. You have got to, you have got to encourage yourself and protect yourself from all the negativity because if you let all of that in, it's very hard to f find yourself worthy, find yourself believing and, and knowing that you can. I think everybody has a dream and, and sometimes the dreams are just, they may be small to some, but huge to them. I think everybody has it and I think society and life and circumstances will beat it out of you, smother it and, and take all the oxygen out of it and make you believe that you can. Yeah. And it's, it takes a strong person with a strong will and a strong knowledge of who they are, of understanding being worthy and understanding what God says about you to keep going to make that happen. Mm -hmm. You have to learn how to forgive yourself and also gratitude. It's all so important to be grateful in every moment. There's not a fight. There's not a time I drive in here. There's not a time I go for a walk or on my bike around here that I'm not in praise and worship. Some people are not equipped to handle the altitudes that you're going to. So don't be afraid when they fall off. They're not bad people. They just couldn't go where you're going. The very thing you're worried about, don't worry about it because God will provide. But Tyler, you don't understand. It's been difficult. It's been hard. God will provide. But Tyler, you don't understand. I love my wife and my husband. This has been really difficult, but you don't understand. God will provide. Just climb and maintain. Just pray and worship. Just climb and maintain. And if I can leave you with anything, I want to leave you with this. Hear me clearly when I say this. There are people who come in your life sometimes to be there for a season. They weren't meant to be there always. Sometimes we find ourselves hooked up with people that we think are there for a lifetime, but they were only supposed to be there for a season. There are people who come in your life like boosters for a rocket. If you ever watch a rocket go into space, the boosters fall off when it reaches a certain altitude. If it's in you and you can't shake it and you dream about it, and when you want to walk away from it, you still dream, that's God telling you to keep going. And if I can tell you anything else, please keep going. There are people who, whose lives and destiny are tied into you and hear a positive message. Don't stop, keep going, no matter what anybody says, you are worth it. And here's the thing about worthy, get to worthy. Whatever you do, get to worthy. What does that mean? Understand that you are worth it. You deserve the good things. If God said it, you deserve it. And he did. His thoughts of you are pure and he wants to give you a hope. I wanted to talk to you about anxiety. Like those of you who are dealing with things, walking through situations in this life, you're married, things are going great, then all of a sudden something happens. Person wants a divorce. You thought you would live your life forever with this person and all of a sudden, the very person that you thought would be there forever is about to leave. You've got children that you're raising and everything seemed to be fine when they were younger, but now they're at a place where they're a little bit older and they're doing things that you couldn't even imagine and you're worried. They've got addictions, they've got things going on and you're wondering, God, what is going on? Those dreamers in here who are trying to build a dream, everything seems to be going fine and all of a sudden you hear something, there's a rumbling, something is happening that is trying to, to distract you. You've got anxiety, you can't sleep, you're tossing and turning all night long, wondering what is going on. God, what is going on in this moment? What is going on? What is happening right now? I've been there. It's a very difficult place when you know that you've got anxiety all over you. I came here to tell you some good news. If you are in this place and you are wondering if you are the sacrifice, I came to tell you that you are not. You are not the sacrifice. God did not bring you this far to leave you. You are not about to die. You are not about to lose everything. You are not the sacrifice. All you have to do to get rid of the anxiety is to pray and to worship. What, what prayer, simple prayer. Prayer is talking to God, just having a conversation with him. God, I need you. God, I need you to be with me right now. God, I need you to walk me through this thing. God, I need you to be by my side. Please, Father, in the name of Jesus, stay with me. Let your blood be with me, O Lamb of God. Thank you right now. Lord, increase my territory. Let your hand of favor stay with me. Keep me from evil that I may not cause pain. 
You've got to pray, and that is the climb. And then the maintain is the worship. God, you're wonderful. How I love your name. How excellent are you, O Lamb of God. You have no rival. You have no equal. You are the only true and living God. God, thank you for everything you've ever done for me. God, I worship you only you can. You've got to climb and maintain, and you've got to read the Word. You've got to get into some of those Psalms where you really understand that God is on your side. I've never seen anybody in the presence of God worshiping and praising, and the devil was able to stay. If you want him to flee, you got to pray, praise and worship. you got to pray and worship. you got to climb and maintain. you got to get into the Word of God. And here's how I know that it's going to be all right. The first five words of this text simply says, and it came to pass, which means whatever you're going through did not come to stay. You're going to be all right. When you have that kind of trust and that kind of faith in God, I don't care what it looks like, it's going to be all right.